Hi guys, Turbo Loco here. Today we're doing an Oceana qualification series with Fiji. I'm sure most of you guys actually said you wanted to do, well, me to do Fiji. So I was like, yeah, let's do Fiji today. And um, the Oceana qualifications is literally right around the corner, or it could be here when the video comes out. I don't know. I'm so far ahead of myself. I don't even know where I am right now. So obviously we're doing Fiji. Um, we've got New Zealand, Samoa and Tahiti in our group. The main threat will obviously be New Zealand. We have to, I think we have to come top of the group to even advance in this qualification series. So it might be hard for Fiji. We need to get off the ground early. So let's have a look at the squad for Fiji before we take on New Zealand today. So there's a lot of 50 rated players here. A lot of, um, well not a lot, like two 40 rated players, 47 and 44. We've got Krishna here. I feel like I've heard of him before. I don't know why, but he's a star player anyway for Fiji. Um, and then we got a load of 50 rated players and stuff on the bench. The bench is really, really small for Fiji. There's only like maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only seven players here. So um, if we start to get injuries, we're going to get into trouble. Well, in reality, we can't really afford to drop any games in this one. It's looking very nice here in Fiji for this one against New Zealand. New Zealand, of course, did qualify for the 2010 World Cup uh, through the Oceania playoffs. Um, I can't remember who they beat. Was it Peru that they beat in the, the playoff? I can't remember. But they did make it and then they went unbeaten in the World Cup. Uh, the only team to really go unbeaten in the World Cup and still be eliminated in the first group stage round. So um, I don't know how impressive that is. It's pretty impressive for New Zealand to be fair. And we still need to play as New Zealand on 2010. New Zealand definitely aren't unbeatable. But they are, have got a good star rating on us. At least a star on us. So we've got to be on our toes and we've got to defend well. It's going to be very tough. This is the first match and we're playing a way bigger team than us, but nothing is impossible. You've seen most of my runs and definitely nothing is impossible. I don't really know too much about Fiji, Fiji football or anything like that. Um, I probably know more about Fiji rugby than their football. I know that they're better at rugby than they are at football. You know what, if we start off with a draw here against New Zealand and then just beat the other two, I think we're going to give ourselves a really good chance of getting out of this group. I hope so. But if we drop this game, then it's probably not going to be... Oh, that was so close, that shot there on the attack. Here we go. Go on. Oh, good save by the keeper. We managed to get round them. And that's our first shot of the game. But the New Zealand keeper denies us. I love the backdrop of this game. I've said it plenty of times, but look at that backdrop. You just know that just kind of looks like a place in Fiji. It, it could be. Imagine that in like 4K or something like that. That would be incredible off the post. Unlucky for Fiji. They almost took the lead before half time. It is half time and Fiji are currently drawing with New Zealand. I think New Zealand would be a bit upset about this because I think that a team like New Zealand should be at least 1 or 2 0 up against Fiji right now. Tiwa on the ball. Go for the shot. Oh, keep out to make a one-handed save. That was a really nice shot. We got the ball back. Fiji starting to find a little bit of ribbon. Go on. Oh, that was just wide. I mean, we're playing really well up until that point. The passing, the movement, it's been good. Oh, here comes Chris Wood now. A young Chris Wood. Now plays for Newcastle. £25 million. Let's see if he's worth that in this game if he scores against us. Nine minutes to play. And surprisingly, we've been the better team. Definitely the better team in this one. Just hope that we can hold on. Last minute winner, perhaps, on the cards? I hope so, but I don't think that Fiji have the strength to get past New Zealand. Although, Krishna just made a good tackle. Get in the box. Get in the box. Oh, just don't have the strength, do we, to sort of out-muscle New Zealand. But it's fine. It's fine. It's nil-nil and a slow start. But a good start for BG. I mean, that would be a really good result in real life, CG. Um, very well played by me. No goals. I'm sorry for that, guys. But there were some highlight moments in there. And um, we, we could have won that game. And it's given me hope against the other two teams in the group stage. From the table here, then, um, New Zealand have played two. And they've drawn against Samoa. So that's a really, again, another bad result for New Zealand. If we can win against Tahiti here, we'll have four points. 
and um, going two points ahead of New Zealand at the start of the run is a really, really good advantage to have. Second match then against Tahiti at home and definitely one that we can win after that one against New Zealand went really well. The Fiji fans are out in full force. You've got the flag in the background looking so good. Oh, that's a nice through ball. Can we score? Here comes Rabo. And I couldn't score, but there's a mistake. And Tahiti have given up a sloppy goal. It is 1-0 to Fiji. Rabo gets the second chance. And, um, yeah, it's too easy for Fiji at the moment. It's 1-0. You love to see a mistake like that. I mean, I just don't think that Tahiti defender could clear it. And the goalkeeper kind of made a mess of it as well. They bumped into each other, essentially. Through ball here. That's a nice through ball to Kumar. Can he score? Yes, he has. Right through the keeper as well. And that is 2-0 already in the first 10 minutes. Insane stuff from Fiji. A very good play. And that ball to him was just such a good ball. Exploited that space. We ran diagonally and just powered it straight in front of the keeper. Good match so far. 2-0 up against Tahiti. Can we get more goals in this one? Maybe we can have a really big victory on our hands if we play just the way I like it. Look at that ball. Look, that was just great. Look at that. Push your way through. And we're going to get a third? No. Yes, we are. Nice one. Okay, 3-0. Uh, I must remind you guys, it is on legendary difficulty, but of course we're playing Tahiti, so, I mean, when you're playing a team sort of like on your same level or um, slightly below your level, then you're going to get results like this easily. Absolutely dominant from Fiji here. There's a goal every five minutes. Trouble is, the guy that was just up front, he's now injured, thanks for that Tahiti, that guy there, I was about to say, he's too strong for them. But now Tahiti have injured him. So I'm just like, great. What am I supposed to do now? Look at me, I'm just charging through. I just don't even give a damn right now. I mean, we just scored. I mean, that was just so easy. It's 4-0 just before half time. It's where Rabo scores. And it's all said and done. Fiji are dominating in this one. Tahiti all over the place defensively. Very nice tap in into the back of the net. Half time, leading 4 0, and fantastic Fiji are doing the work right now. They're loving it. Tahiti, cross it in, it's missed. I accidentally play it to him. Goalkeeper's on the floor. Oh, what a save! And a really accidental save, and he's acting like he meant it. He, he acted like he meant it. Let's just check that out again. This goalkeeper is out here acting like he meant that. Look, this guy came in, he had his back turned, and no look save. A no-look save, like Firmino in front of goal, but instead it's a no-look save. Wow, that was um, that was so lucky. Out to you. Go on. Oh, that was unlucky. We could have had a fifth. Krishna to cross it in. Decent ball into the box. Go on. Oh, yes, we scored. Okay, that was a bit delayed, but 5-0. And I think that was the defender, Thula, scoring that one. I think he's a defender. I'm not sure. I don't know where he plays on the pitch, but he did score. Very, very delayed reactions there from everybody. Nice little half volley into the back of the net. Comes Tahiti. Are they going to do anything on the ball? They cross it in. Headed away, kind of. Oh, no. We lost it. And Tahiti scored the slowest goal in the world. Goalkeeper didn't even go for it. I think the goalkeeper kind of felt sorry for him. And it's 5-1 now. I mean, a bit of a mistake. I couldn't clear it there. I tried to force my way through. And um, he scored a bit of an odd goal. Like it, it, It's like he miskicked it or something from the animation. But yeah, it doesn't matter. It's 5-1. Well, it doesn't matter because we got a 5-1 victory against Tahiti. That's really good. Really, really good. Fiji were almost perfect. Like a 9.5 out of 10. Apart from conceding the goal, I'd say that knocks off a little bit of points for it. But yeah, really well done. And we've gone top of the group now. Two points clear of New Zealand. We need to do it again against Tahiti, but away from home, which could be a bit more difficult because obviously um, we're the away team. Here we go then, against Tahiti, away from home, and it's basically the same stadium. It's going to be the same stadium over and over and over again, isn't it? I think it will only change if, when we play New Zealand. I think New Zealand's is um, slightly bigger, but yeah, no. I mean, we're in a really good position right now. Samoa and Tahiti still have to play... Um, another match. I'm guessing that's after this one. 
I don't think this one is going to be another 5-1. I think it's going to be a bit closer than five goals. But you never know. Go for the shot. Oh, off the post. That wasn't bad. And I went for the shot again. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, Tahiti are pressing. And that's their first shot of the game. Cross that in. That's not a bad ball. And, oh, wow. What a goal that was. What a finish by Wabo. He's proven to be quite a good little goal scorer in this one. I mean, that was a really, really nice shot. Because I thought he got a little bit too behind it. Like, you know, the ball wasn't central. And to hit it into that corner... Well, that's actually really good skill and great technique as well. Oh, no. Bennett just pushed past me. Are we going to get it? No. Oh, <laughs> that was very close. He should have scored that one. Tahiti have been way better in this game than they have been in the previous fixture. They've actually had a good go at me, despite being 1-0 down. Oh, here we go. Rabo, he's in that attacking position. Can we score? That's a really nice shot. A really, really nice shot. I thought I'd go for it a bit like different the shot because obviously you know usually I just do tap-ins but I was like nah let's go for it and it actually paid off that time. Tahiti go for it and it's saved comfortably by the goalkeeper they got it back again they go for it good save again by the goalkeeper. Can we score this free kick? I'm gonna hit him really hard here come on go for it oh yes <laughs> I love those free kicks when you just lay it off and score like that it's Nuatu Really, really great strike into the top bins. 3-0. Love to see those kind of free kicks. Just pass them off, just take a few steps forward, and then just smash it into the top corner. And that is it. We've just beaten Tahiti twice in a row. One time, 5-1, and the other 3-0. So that gives us an aggregate score over them, if you want to use aggregates against them. It's 8-1. Impressive from Fiji, they look like they could top this group. Fourth match of qualifying is against Samoa, and then straight after this, we got Samoa away from home. So there's a bit of a pattern here going on with the fixture list. So it saved New Zealand for last. So I'm hoping that when we get to that point, that New Zealand will be kind of out of the race, and I'm hoping Tahiti will give us a bit of a chance to peg back New Zealand, if you know what I mean. All i got to hope for is, like, New Zealand to drop points against Tahiti. I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. Tahiti have taken a shock lead against New Zealand. They're doing us a favour, helping me out. Thank you, Tahiti. Over the top. Come on, please don't be offside. Ah, oh, it is offside. It looked like it was on, but I'm guessing it was slightly off here. This one's going to be a tough test for Fiji, I think. Just looks like Samoa's players are slightly bigger than ours and probably a lot stronger. I don't know if they are faster or better goal scorers than us. I hope not. So opposition that we haven't played yet. I don't think I've played them at all on this game before. Go on. Oh, off the post. Fiji. Ah, oh, tackled again. Samoa are pretty good at defending. Like, they've limited our chances and made it a tad frustrating against us. Header. Oh yes, we scored straight away over the top of those two defenders there. And number five scores is Balitetoga. Balitoga? That's how you say it, right? Balitoga? I'm not sure. But he scores to make it 1-0. And what a header that was. The computer doesn't want to show me because it's salty. But fine. Whatever. 1-0. Over the top. And I went for the chip. Oh, oh, come on game. You've got to be kidding me. The goalkeeper is slightly off his line. And it span off the post in a really odd fashion. Look at that. Great over the top. And then another one. Look at that chip. Like, that had a lot of spin on it, didn't it? There's enough spin to spin it away from the goal after it hit the post. That was a great shot. Oh, my God. I just thought I'd go for it. And the defender almost scored from 40 yards out. That would have been outrageous. Through ball here. Yeah, Krishna's got it right. Krishna. Krishna goes for it. Yeah, that's it. Game over. Great pass to Krishna. He's the star player in this team. And he scored. I don't think he scored too many in this one. I think maybe one or two or something. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But yeah, there we go. We just beaten Samoa. And, um, well, just, uh, unless they come back. But I highly doubt it. And that's it. Fiji have just beaten Samoa 2-0. It was a harder match than I anticipated. But we still got the job done. Two more matches and we're through to the next round, which I believe is the qualification stages, as in like the playoffs even. 
Well, looking at the group, it's definitely not all over for us. I mean, if we drop the last two games, then New Zealand could pip us by two points if we drop them, if we lose them, or even if we draw one of the games. So we have to be careful, but I'm sure that we can get the job done again against Samoa. Same fixture again, but away from home this time. Let's see if we can beat them again. It might be a little bit harder since we struggled at home to beat them. Um, we got a, just a normal result, really. Rabo going for on goal. Come on. this has got to be a sweat opportunity, right? It is. And we scored. Nice one. It's 1-0. We scored early on and Kumar gets the goal. Crossed in. And it goes all the way through. Goalkeeper needed to save that, really? It was just a basic cross and he spills it into his own net. And Samoa have made it back to 1-1. That was a bit disappointing, really, wasn't it, from the Fiji goalkeeper? I mean, what was going on there? I tried to clear it as well from the defender. And spilling it like that from a shot probably as weak as that, and from that angle, that's not great. But that's the first goal, I think, that we've conceded in this run, I think. I don't think, yeah, we, we that's the first one. No, it's not, sorry, because um, Tahiti got one against us when they when we beat them 5-1. Half time, and it's 1-1. I knew it would be harder to beat this team away from home. It just seemed like they were going to be a bit of a problem. But a draw will suffice, because it will mean that... Um, well, actually, no. Well, at this current stage, if New Zealand draw, then yeah, it will suffice, because we'll still be in the same position. Crossed in. Oh, not headed to here. Taking another goal... Uh, I'm taking the lead even, sorry, what am I talking about? But yeah, the surprise got me there. <laughs> it's 2-1. Wow, they are trying to do me a massive favour, aren't they? That's a great ball. And then Watu, he's basically free. He's basically free. He's going to get caught up, actually. Go for it. Yeah, goal. Nice one. I mean, he was free for about 95% of that time. And it's 2-1 now. Oh, New Zealand. A weak lies against Tahiti. There's going to be a big finish in that game, I reckon. Oh, Tahiti got the third. They've got the third. They just will not let them go to the World Cup, will they? New Zealand are struggling hard in this qualification campaign. Last minute of the game, we cross it in. Punched away by the goalkeeper. Back to Fiji, who have got it here. Oh, okay, maybe not. There's not much added time, and that's it. We've beaten Samoa 2-1, and fairly sure Tahiti snatched it away from New Zealand, which is obviously Tahiti's best performance, I guess. I mean, I'm sure they've beaten New Zealand a few times, maybe once or twice. Well done to Tahiti for doing that for me. Thank you so much. What a result for Tahiti, and we are comfortably through the last match against New Zealand doesn't really matter. So yeah, this is how the group is kind of looking like. we got to play New Zealand and hopefully we beat them so that Fiji can be top of the group and Tahiti can remain second. And to be honest, even though we destroyed Tahiti in the first game we played against them, I have to thank them for helping me out with New Zealand and Tahiti do deserve second place in this one. Okay, last match of the first part of this qualification series is against New Zealand. And the stadium is, yeah, like I said in the first couple of minutes of the video, it is bigger than the ones that we played in. So, yeah, I mean, it looks kind of dull, to be honest. There's a lot of, like, white shirts in there. I'm guessing because New Zealand do have a white kit as well. But it looks quite dull, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't have any, like, backdrop to it or anything like that. It just has a black sky and, yeah, no, it's not really a great-looking stadium. I mean, if Tahiti can beat New Zealand, then I'm sure we can, because we've got form now. It's not like the first game where we didn't have any form. Oh, we pushed past. Go on. Oh, yeah, we scored. Nice one. Straight away. And in the seventh minute, Krishna scores. It's number seven for the... Well, it's the eighth minute, but it was the seventh minute when I scored. And 1-0 against New Zealand. New Zealand's campaign has been absolutely atrocious on their part. But for us... It's been absolutely amazing. New Zealand pressing with Fallon. He's got through somehow and we got it. He didn't even shoot that time. That was really strange. 
No, oh, come on, we should have dealt with that a bit better. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Even if they beat us here, it does not matter. Referee, really? CG have injured that player constantly. They've done it again. Like, they've just done it again. That guy got injured in the first game, and they've done it again. Like, like New Zealand, can you stop injuring that player? Oh, that's a great ball. Here comes Krishna. He's basically wide open. Down to this guy, and yet we scored. I was about to shoot, but I was like, nah, you know, play it off to this guy, because he keeps getting injured from New Zealand. So that's karma for you, New Zealand. He scores, and that's 2-1. We've only got about 18 minutes to play to hold on to this nice lead. Seven minutes to play. There is an opportunity for us. Oh, that was actually a great ball. Can we get on the end of it? Oh, imagine. Two minutes to play. And currently we're leading New Zealand two goals to one. A great result again from Fiji. Unbeaten in qualifying, might I add, as well. So, yeah, a great achievement for a little side like Fiji. New Zealand's campaign has been an absolute disaster. Losing against sides like Tahiti and Fiji here today. Drawing against Samoa as well at the start of the campaign. Just hasn't been there yet. Here we go, Rabo. Up to this guy. He's got a score, right? Yes, he has. That's it. That is game over. That was just silky smooth by Fiji. And that is 3-1. Rubbing salt in the runes here. And that is it. Qualification over for New Zealand. And that's it. I think we advance to the next sort of stage of qualifying in Oceania. I can't remember if we have to play like an Asian team, then go on to a South American team. Or we just go straight to the South American team. I'm not sure. I'll check it before we end the video. It's simulating it. So I'm guessing we're in the next stage of the World Cup. Yeah, we're against Australia, who are an Asian team, obviously, in uh, terms of footballing qualification. Tough match to play against Australia, but I reckon we could maybe do it with the form that we got. Let's just double check the form just to show you guys. I mean, the form is just, oh, it's reset. Thanks for that. We were pretty exceptional in that Oceana qualification stage, the first stage, and I hope that we can continue it in the next part of the video. If you did like this video, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.